Hey guys, welcome to my channel Learn with Komali. In this video, let's learn some of the important current affairs for the month of October 2022 that would be useful for various competitive examinations. Let's start the video. The first one is about the Swatch Servection 2022 awards. So, Indore has been adjusted as India's cleanest city, followed by Surat and Navi Mumbai. And if we, if we see here, uh, the cities, uh, first city is Indore, next Surat, Navi Mumbai, then Visakhapatnam and Vijayawada from Andhra Pradesh, and next Bhopal from Madhya Pradesh. So, coming to the states, so Madhya Pradesh has been ranked as a best performing state, then Chhattisgarh and Maharashtra. Let's see uh, some of the important indexes. So this is Global Innovation Index. So coming to the Global Innovation Index, it is uh, published or released by World Intellectual Property Organization. So in that uh, Global Innovation Index, India's rank is 40. Okay. So this is a huge leap of 41 places in 7 years. India has leapfrogged to 40th position on the Global Innovation Index 2022 from the 81st spot in 2015. So in 2015 it was at 81st place but now in 2022 it is in 40th position. Okay, And Switzerland topped this index with rank 1. Next index is Global Hunger Index and India's rank is 107 out of 121 countries and the score for India is 29.1 uh, compared to its previous year it was 101 but now it is 107 that is it slipped from the 2021 of 2021 index so this is released by Concern Worldwide and Wealth Hunger Healthy okay so what does this index indicate this index measures country's performance or four component indicators. What are they? Undernourishment, child wasting, child stunting and child mortal mortality. So undernourishment you can understand like uh, lack of nutrition something like that. And uh, child stunting is that. Uh, so it takes into account the number of children under the age of uh, 5 years who are uh, having lesser weight lesser height uh, okay so it takes into account the number of children who are having lesser height and uh, like with respect to their age they should have some height right so if they are not uh, having that height that comes under child stunting and child wasting is like uh, if they are not having specified weight as per their height then that comes into account so this is global hunger index and next one is 2022 commitment to reducing inequality CRI index. So as per this index India's rank is 123 out of 161 countries and it has improved its rank by 6 places compared to the previous years. So the index ranks countries based on their policies and actions in the areas of public services, health, education and social protection, taxation and workers' rights. So India has improved, uh, improved by six places. Next one is Logistics Performance Index. So the report has been released by Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goyal. What is this in, uh, index is about? This index is an indicator for the efficiency of logistical services necessary for promoting exports and economic growth. So, in the category of achievers, Andhra Pradesh, Assam and Gujarat are among the 15 states and union territories. And Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Puducherry, Sikkim and Tripura, the other states categorized as fast movers in the ranking so like 
the achievers these are the states like on ap assam gujarat and in the fast movers these are the states let's see the next index that is public affairs index so public affairs index uh, haryana has topped this index haryana has been ranked the best governed state in the public affairs index report 2022 this was prepared by bangalore based think tank public affairs center psc next index is cfs global pension index 2022 so india has ranked 41 and this index is topped by iceland what was india's rank india's rank is 41 out of 44 countries and this index is published by mercer cfs global pension index this survey has pointed out that the country needs to strengthen its regulatory framework and boost coverage and uh, private pension arrangements In 2020, the rank was 34 out of 39 countries, and in 2022, it was 41 out of 44. And the index value is 44.4. Next is this is very important Living Planet report. Wildlife populations monitored across the globe have declined by a massive 69 percent between 1970 and 2018. so this report was generated given by world wildlife funds wwf living planet report so as per this report it says that there is a massive decline of wildlife population among between the years 1970 to 2018 if we see there is a decline of 69% wildlife population this is 9% is important and if we see specific to continent it says like uh, wildlife populations have dipped by 66% in africa and 55% in the asia specific fresh water populations have also declined by 83% and it also says that uh, the iucn red list shows cycads are the most threatened species while corals are declining the fastest followed by amphibians the main drivers for this uh, wildlife population decline so why is this wildlife population is getting declined so the reasons are habitat degradation and loss exploitation introduction of invasive species pollution climate change and disease next one is India's first solar village so pm narendra modi has declared modera a village in gujarat as the country's first 24 by 7 solar powered village so earlier modera is famous for the sun temple that was built during the chalukya so if you want to know more details about this uh, modera I have already made a short video on that and i'll place that video link in the description you can check it out and next one is india's first slender lorry sanctuary this india's first slender lorry sanctuary is going to be set up in the state of tamil nadu in which districts in the karur and dindigal districts okay so i have also made a video on this so you can check that out so just uh, to know more about what is slender lorry is what is its iucn status so to get Uh, more details uh, about the slender lorry sanctuary you can check that video it would be useful for you next is financial action task force so this has added myanmar to the list of high risk countries which is known as the black list so myanmar is a third country to be added in this list along with north korea and iran which have been on the high risk list since 2020 so you need to remember myanmar was added to the high risk countries and also it uh, it has excluded pakistan from the gray list of the gray list okay so it has removed pakistan from gray list and added myanmar to the black list so pakistan was put into this list in 2018 
for its failure to check the risk of money laundering but it was now excluded from that list next uh, coming to the operation garuda so cbi has launched this operation garuda to dismantle drug networks so since CBI the central bureau of investigation has launched this multi phase operation garuda against illicit drug trafficking network so this is a global operation that was initiated in close coordination with interpol and narcotics control bureau interpol is nothing but like international criminal criminal police organization next is param kamrupa it's a super computer so president of india Draupadi Murmu has inaugurated this Param Kamrupa, a supercomputing facility at IIT Gauhati, Assam. So, with this, now uh, this Param Kamrupa has become the fastest uh, supercomputer in the Northeast region. So, I have already made a vi short video on this uh, Param Kamrupa, like what all you need to know about this. So you can check that out. I have placed the link in the description. Next one is LCH Prachanda. So LCH stands for Light Combat Helicopter. This was inducted into IAF, Indian Air Force. So Defense Minister Rajnath Singh formally inducted the indigenously developed Light Combat Helicopters LCH in the indian air force in jodhpur okay so this was designed and developed ground up by hindustan aeronautics limited hgl okay this is also very important so a question might come up like uh, what is the name of the light combat helicopter that is prachanda it was inducted into if by defense minister where in jodhpur and who designed and developed it? Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Next, next one is Prestan. So this is a uh, exercise. So Indian Navy conducted offshore security exercise Prestan in Andhra Pradesh. So Indian Navy has conducted this security exercise in the offshore development area of Kakinada. Andhra Pradesh. This was conducted to validate SOPs, address various uh, cont contingencies and to strengthen the command and to strengthen the maritime security. This exercise will be conducted and Prasthan was conducted in Andhra Pradesh. Next one is exercise IBSAMR. So IBSAMR stands for India, Brazil, South Africa, maritime exercise so the seventh edition of this exercise was held at port elizabeth south africa okay i have already made a short video on this you can even check this out next one is agni p was tested at odisha so india has successfully tested this agni prime like p stands for prime okay so what is this Agni Prime? It is a new generation of ballistic missile, okay, uh, where it has tested at the coast of the Odisha. It is a nuclear capable new generation advanced variant of the Agni class of missiles. Next one is Defense Expo 2022. So the 12th edition of the Defense Expo has begun in Ahmedabad and Gandhinagar, Gujarat. What was the theme of this uh, Defense Expo? The theme for the 12th Defense Expo is Path to Pride. Okay. So what is this about? Here uh, the participants will get an opportunity to, show to showcase their equipment and platforms and be able to explore the strengths and capabilities of the expanse of Indian defense industry for forging business relationships. This is also very important. It was held at Gujarat and the theme is Path to Pride. Next one is Tiger Triumph Exercise. 
so indian and us militaries conducted this exercise this is the three day joint exercise it was held at visakhapatnam okay this exercise was a second collaboration between the indian and us militaries to coordinate disaster relief in the asian so there are like uh, other than this uh, there are like uh, some exercises that held between india and us those are red flag yuddh abhyas vajra prahar okay the list of exercises are red flag yuddh abhyas vajra prahar next one is booker prize 2022 award this award was given to sri lankan author his name was shahan karuna tilaka he has won this prestigious booker prize for his second book the seven moons of the mali almedia okay next one is about rishi sunak uh, you might have already heard like he is going to serve as british prime minister and uh, he's like he became the first uh, british asian uh, prime minister for uk and he he has 42 years old and he became the third prime minister in less than 2 months as boris johnson and many others have uh, resigned from their post the next one is about cbg plant so the union minister of petroleum and natural gas Hardeep Singh Puri has inaugurated this Asia's lord largest compressed biogas biogas plant in Lehenga Sangrur Punjab so what is this speciality it is the Asia's largest compressed biogas biogas plant who has initiated inaugurated this Hardeep Singh Puri he he is the union minister of petroleum and natural gas where he has inaugurated in punjab next one is about ma bharati ke saput so this is a portal or a website okay so who has launched this defense minister so defense minister rajnath singh has launched launched ma bharati ke saput website what is this website is about it is being launched to facilitate patriotic indians to partner in the contribution to the welfare of the soldiers and their families so common people like we indians can contribute to the welfare of the soldiers and their families through this website we can donate some amount something like that so and the government has appointed veteran actor amitabh bachchan as the goodwill ambassador next one is about sakharov prize 2022 so ukrainian people won this award so generally the europe european parliament awards this uh, prize to people of uh, like uh, to generally to individuals and organizations that fight for human rights and freedom like who defends uh, it gives award to individuals and organization who defends human rights and freedom so this year it was given to ukrainian people because of their fight uh, because of their freedom of thought to honor their fight against russia's invasion next one is about interpol so this is international criminal police organization so it is just nothing but it facilitates worldwide police cooperation and criminal control so the general assembly will be conducted for this interpol uh, so the general assembly is interpol supreme governing body and meets once a year to take key decisions related to its functioning it was held in uh, india after a gap of 25 years on october 2022 in october 2022 it was held in new delhi okay uh the 90th general assembly was held in new delhi in october 2022 and the next uh, assembly is going to be held in vietnam so that is 2023 uh general assembly is going to be held in vietnam and 2022 was already held in new delhi so this 2022 general assembly was like it is a 90th general assembly okay next one about the blue flag 
beaches so tundi and kadamad beaches in lakshadweep have received the certification and were added to the list of cleanest beaches in the world this has taken india's tally of blue beaches to 12 so for the cleanest beaches uh, this kind of blue flag uh, will be categorized under blue flag beaches and tundi and kadamad beaches from lakshadweep island uh, have got this uh, have received this blue flag certification with this the total count of blue flags uh, from india became to 12 and uh, the government of india appoints justice chandrachud as the 50th chief justice of india and next is hyderabad wins a prestigious award world green cities award 2022 so this is also kind of important so uh, it's a global award uh it will consider the cities uh, from the entire world and then the hyderabad has won this award next is about the famous launching and all so this is kunjap so kerala chief minister pinarayi vijayan has launched this kunjap it's a mobile application to prevent cyber crimes against children in the state so kunjap was uh launched in it's a mobile application launched in kerala to prevent cyber crimes next one is a new scheme named himcad so the himachal pradesh government has launched this scheme to provide irrigation facilities to farmers okay so himcad was launched in himachal pradesh it's a scheme to provide irrigation facilities to farmer and to improve agriculture in the state next one is mission life so pm modi has launched mission life in the presence of un secretary general antonio at the state of unity ekta nagar gujarat so this is like very important mission life uh, life it's refers to lifestyle for environment who launched it pm modi along with the un secretary general So this is a global initiative by India to help the world in its fight against climate change and lead a sustainable way of life to achieve the sustainable development goals set by the UN. Next is about uh, the migration monitoring system. So the first migration monitoring system of India has been launched in Mumbai. The aim of this uh, system is to provide updated information or migrant pregnant women lactating mothers and children also all this information we would be getting on a single system that is about migration monitoring system where was it launched it was launched in mumbai next is home minister amit shah has announced scheduled tribe status for the pahari community in jammu and kashmir so for this pahari community he has announced the st status in the state jammu and kashmir this community will be present in jammu and kashmir state and amit shah has announced its status as st okay next is about indian tourism statistics 2022 so this report says that so mama Mamallapuram it's a UNESCO world heritage site in Tamil Nadu it has beaten the Taj Mahal records in the number of foreign visitors so according to the latest report provided by Indian tourism statistics this Mamallapuram a town in a heritage site in Tamil Nadu has beaten the Taj Mahal records in the number of foreign visitors next is about Yuva 2.0. So this, uh, so this Yuva 2.0 is like it was. Uh, so this scheme, this is a scheme actually. This scheme is uh, belongs to Department of Higher Education. So Ministry of Education has launched this app for mentoring authors. So Yuva full form is like young, upcoming, and versatile authors. coming to the theme of this yuva 2.0 it is democracy institutions events people and constitutional values so this scheme will help to develop 
a stream of writers who can write on various facets of democracy in india encompassing the past present and future so to encourage young authors this scheme was launched and a stipend would be given monthly to the authors next one is mgrip scheme this scheme was launched in chhattisgarh so chhattisgarh cm bhupesh has launched this mahatma gandhi rural industrial park scheme so under this scheme the gautans of the state will be developed as rural industrial parks so gautans are nothing but uh, cow shelters okay those will be developed as rural industrial parks so this is in line with mahatma gandhi's uh, vision of uh, self sufficient villages so this is in line with that and the full form is like mgrip mahatma gandhi rural industrial park scheme it was launched in chhattisgarh launched by chhattisgarh cm and the aim of this is to so uh, like cow shelters will be developed as rural industrial parks so as many as 300 uh, rural industrial parks will be developed in the first phase of this scheme and the scheme will provide employment and additional income sources to the poor rural families of the state next is about uh, satya nishta app so in himachal pradesh himachal pradesh cm jairam thakur has launched this satya nishta app so it will provide it will help state police to investigate and control criminal activities in a better way the chief minister said that this app will help police prepare a database of criminals and also study the various offenses that take place under different police stations in the state in every district so about this app satya nishta to help police in the state of himachal pradesh it was launched next is safal this is a portal where was it launched it was launched in odisha so odisha cm navin patnaik has launched this portal it's a common credit portal safal refers to simplified application for agriculture loans uh, what whom it will help it will help for the welfare of farmers and agri business owners so as per this portal farmers and agri business owners will have access to more than 300 term loan solutions offered by more than 40 partner institutions through safal it's a streamlined application for agricultural loans next is about terra elephant reserve so the union ministry of forest environment and climate mofcc it stands for union ministry of forest environment and climate it is going to establish the terai elephant reserve where is it going to be established in the state of uttar pradesh so the area of this reserve will be reserve will be spread in 3049 square kilometer area which also includes dudwa tiger reserve and pilibit tiger reserve so this terai elephant reserve is going to be the second elephant reserve in the state of uttar pradesh and overall in the country it is going to be the 33rd elephant reserve this is also very important so the terai elephant reserve is going to be established in the state of uttar pradesh under the union ministry of forest environment and climate next one it's about anti firecracker campaign which government has launched this so the delhi government has launched this so the government has launched the anti firecracker campaign named diya jalao patake nahi so this aim is to promote a pollution free festival of diwali so that's it about this video guys i have mostly covered the important current affairs in case if 
even i missed one or two i would be posting them as either as a short video or under my community post so please subscribe to my channel and follow the regular updates thank you